guys, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to another f***ing video, boy. What are you saying? See ya. Bye, have a great time. For today's video, guys, we are going to be... For today's video, we are going to be working on this rare... This is one in 50 million cars made. Honestly, it's crazy. This is my mum's car and it has a very rare red colour. You know, it's called L de Le Red. So if we come into my car right here, we've actually got my polisher, which was sent out by Blah. And also we have got all of the products that we're going to be using in today's video, including some bloody soapy bloody water, some bloody ultra glaze, which is a paint glaze to make the car look Okay. We've got some scratch remover, which is like, I believe it's polish. I hope it's polish. We've got some clay bars that literally look like candy. Boys, does that not look like candy? I want to eat that right now. I might eat this right now. So we are going to resurrect or erect this car. This car is going to look fucking fire by the end of this so then the car is actually all washed right now let me take you back for a little montage just in case people want to watch it if you don't want to watch it just skip to this time and you can skip all of it it's only a little montage to be honest it's a very sexual montage you know so yeah <laughs> After snow foam the car, I then used iron out. And what does it smell like, Michael? That smells like the fucking diary I had yesterday. So I then used the iron out to get rid of all those dirty bitches of contaminants in the paintwork. I'm very excited to polish my mum's car, you know. Um, polishing is a very nice, you know. If you are fighting with a ball like this, you know, it's trying to go everywhere, but very peaceful, you know. First thing we've got to do is put on some gloves, it's partly so I can do a rectal examination halfway through, but also because my hands are very fucked right now. All right, so the first step we are going to do to make this paint sexy is first we clay bar it. Honestly, I might eat this shit. It actually looks tasty. Anyway, we've got the polisher actually all set up here. We've got um, the clay bar ready to go. You know. And yeah, we're just gonna work on the bonnet, which is fucking massive. Um, and then we'll move on to the rest of the car once we've done that. Right here, we've just got um, fairy liquid in water. Let's do it. Alright, so the car paintwork is actually looking really good right now. We've obviously clay barred it and then dried it. This naughty girl has been through a lot, you know. It's a 2010 model, so now it is obviously time to mask down the middle of the bonnet. I'm actually really excited to start polishing again because polishing is so relaxing, you know. So here is the paintwork before and as you guys can see, it's like some modern art shit with all those scratches on the paint. <laughs> Here is me giving the car a race, race drive. Honestly boys, maybe we should just leave it like this. It looks like that's at least 20 brake horsepower more. Look at that. That is mean. Look at that. So obviously we're going to do the before and then the after. You can see all the scratches and shit. So then for the like polish kind of thing, we've got this bloody scratch X remover. Nice. Obviously, we're just going to put a little bit on my um, polisher. And we'll be to go. This one looks like a little ducky. 
So I started polishing on the lower setting, of course, you know. I don't want that bitch going all over me. And then I moved up to the half higher setting for some proper cutting power. <laughs> Genuinely, second pass, and look, look at all the scratches on that. Come over here, and voila. Jesus Christ. And all, the, all of that shit is just smudges, basically. Tiny scratches, but nothing compared to that. Look at that. Woo. I could eat my fucking ass off that. I mean, somebody could eat my ass off that. <laughs> before and after of just polishing this bitch this has not even got paint glaze or wax on and it is looking sexy um the wax is still on the way i didn't actually put it on in this video so um i know i'm gonna get roasted on, on that but the wax is coming all right you have got to be shitting me a bird literally i walked inside for a second and it's just, just done a shit a fresh two shit I'm gonna find that motherfucking bird and I'm gonna strangle it with my fucking arse cheeks. And then just to finish him off, I'm gonna shit in its mouth. So here is the ultra glaze. I'm gonna put this on just like a wax, I think. And it should make the paint look amazing. And it's orange. It's fucking orange. Why do detailing companies make everything just like look so edible? It looks like tomato puree or something. <laughs> Yo, that smells dank. Oh my god, boys. Oh, gas. Honestly, the paint looks beautiful right now. Honestly, that paint glaze came off so nicely, but look. So, there is tiny, tiny scratches like here, here, you know. I think I might fuck this car right now. I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera, but it really is more, a lot more vibrant on this side now. Right, I'm not gonna lie. Honestly, you can't really notice a difference. I wiped away all the residue, but you can only notice a difference from the scratches when you go like this, which I don't even know if you can see on camera. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just get straight on with the other side. And the car's gonna be looking sexy. Yes, yes, I do have a fucking hole in my ass. I wore my bad jeans today because polishing, it literally, that bitch goes all over you. Like you could be careful and that bitch would just be clinging to you. how beautiful this car is if you look at the top of it it looks very dull but if you go down oh my god Blah! right um so it has been like a day or two since i polished the car and it is actually looking fresh so yeah unfortunately that is the end of today's video let me quickly hop out the car and show you guys the results so yeah here is the overview of the car this bit hasn't been done actually um this side of the car, the bonnet has all been done. Genuinely really happy with the results, honestly. My mum is gonna be riding in style today. Emma's gonna be turning the headlight. Like... Let me have a look on the doors, look. Jeez. I'm not a professional polisher or detailer or anything, so um, the car is still, you know, scratched, right? But there is probably 90% less scratches than you know before i mean if we look at the before and after of this car honestly there is like a huge difference from the bottom of the car down here to the top of the car it looks 
It looks like a dull bitch, the top of the car. Anyway, guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy. Um, if you guys have ever polished your car or are looking to polish your car, tell me in the comments below. It honestly is a fun thing. And polishers really aren't that expensive. I mean, it's around £40, or you can get one maybe for £30, ch 30 pound cheapest or something. So yeah, if you guys want to go out and polish your car, I would suggest doing it. It looks insane once you've done it, especially if you've got a coloured car or a black car. On my car, it didn't look too great, just because it's a white car and scratches don't really show up, show up that easy on a white car, because scratches are bloody white! Fucking racist bastards, aren't they? But yeah, on the red car, it looks nice. You can see all the crystally paintwork now, the metallic. So yeah, unfortunately, that is the end of today's video, guys. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. Follow me on Instagram at the underscore other stuff if you haven't already. Um, and also subscribe if you enjoyed this video. If you didn't, dislike it. I don't fucking care. And don't subscribe. Don't know how you got to this far if you didn't like it, but yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you later, faces in my next motherfucking video. Wow.